Hi friends, welcome to Physics Vibu YouTube channel. My name is Karthik. Today I will discuss about to compound microscope. Previously we discussed about to simple microscope. Sir, already we have a microscope that is called simple microscope. So why you go to compound microscope? Okay, here the simple microscope has some limitations. That means it can magnify up to nine. Up to nine. That means that means suppose you have a one centimeter line it will can enlarge up to nine centimeter or less than nine centimeters that means we have a limitation suppose we have a more than nine centimeters means uh, there is no other than my compound microscope compound microscope put heading compound microscope compound micro scope so before going to the compound microscope we have to know about to simple microscope just watch my video previously i will uploaded okay coming to compound microscope here we have a two biconvex lenses so it is one lens it is a other lens okay friends here the object is here the object is here and and our eye is here so we are the observer we are the observer okay so we have a two lens one is at the object so other one is at the eye that's why it is called objective it is called objective lens and this is called eye lens okay friends remember these are not uh, biconvex lenses so we can know about the it is objective lens and this is eye lens so from now onwards i will call this is a objective lens and it is a eye lens okay friends so we have a focus for this i will take f not for this i will take f e so o means objective e means eye okay friends here we have a two lenses now i will divide the properties of each and every lenses okay friends so assume it is a simple microscope this lens is worked similarly as a simple microscope so no need to study about this lens just i will take the formulas from the simple microscope as usual okay friends so coming to this lens okay so i will take objective lens i will take a objective lens and i will find a magnification i will find a magnification so it is objective lens it is a objective lens sir what is the work of objective lens what is the work of objective lens okay all of you so we have a simple microscope simple microscope we have a gap in between in between objective lens and eye lens objective lens and eye lens so where is the object the object is the object is here the object is here that means we have a eye lens here okay so we have the we have the object of this one is here that means the main working of the main working of objective lens is we have a object here definitely definitely we have a image on this side image on this side that means that means the image should be image should be real image should be real okay so what are the conditions for forming real image in the case of bi convex lens okay so beyond c at c between c and f between c and f these three cases will be applicable for the these objective lens that means you can't take the object within sorry, f and object to sorry within the uh, f and uh, optic center okay friends so it is the it is formed real image so we have a inverted image we have a inverted image so i will find out the magnification of the objective lens magnification of the 
object to lens okay so it is bi convex lens we have a principal axis okay friends so it is f not okay we have object at somewhere okay friends the height of the object is h the height of the object is h okay so we have a parallel ray it is parallel to the principal axis the another ray coming from the h is passing like this okay friends so any ray parallel to the principal axis passing through the focus okay so here we have a image the height of the image is h dash okay friends we have a object we have a image then then we have to find out the magnification so the magnification is equal to image height by image height by object height image height by object height okay friends so now i will take two triangles assume that it is a p okay it is nothing but a same height h okay friends i will take p o f p o f as a triangle and uh, suppose it is not it is a b point or it is a okay it is b point no problem okay i will take uh, it is a it is also a a dash i will take these two triangles these two triangles okay this angle this angle same and uh, this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees that means the two triangles are similar the two triangles are similar that means okay h by h dash is equal to h by h dash is equal to okay friends okay f not by f not by okay this one let assume let assume it is l it is l okay let assume it is l i will tell what is l also don't worry okay so but what is magnification h dash by h so h dash by h is equal to l by f net it is the magnification of object to lens object to lens okay sir we have to find out the object to the magnification of the object to then what is the magnification of the i lens sir i lens i lens is nothing but a simple microscope simple microscope but but we have to resolve here what is l what is l so l is called l is called tube length l is called tube length okay so the distance between the distance between f not and f e f not and f e sir how can you say it is distance between f not and f e okay it is f e then we have a f e here suppose you have f here so what about this one no because it is the i lens act as a simple microscope that means the object should be object should be at focus or within the focus at focus or within the focus okay friends sir where is the object here where is the object here so it is the object it is the virtual object for the our i lens our i lens and it is definitely at f or within the f not sorry f e within the f e so here we have a we have a our i lens so definitely it is a f e it is a f e so what is l the distance between f not and f e okay friends so we have a two cases we have a two case first the image the image formed at least distance of distinct vision then magnification is equal to 1 plus d by f 1 plus d by f so it is linear magnification then we will go for the angular magnification that is d by f d by f okay it is it is i lens that's why i will write e here e here all of you okay suppose suppose i will take the this condition okay friends that means image formed at infinity image formed at 
infinity here the image formed at uh, image formed at d okay friends already i explained in the simple microscope case okay friends do you have any doubt then see my video of uh, simple microscope okay friends okay so suppose i want to find out the total magnification okay the total magnification is equal to the total magnification is equal to the product of two magnifications the product of uh, two magnifications suppose the image formed at infinity the image formed at infinity then i will take this one okay so what is m i sorry m not l by f not what is m e in the case of infinity so d by f e so it is the total magnification of the compound microscope let us assume let's see once observe this f not and f e are the inversely proportional to the magnification that means suppose we will increase the f not and f e then we have a less magnification that means we have to use uh, small lenses for the this one so it is regarding about compound microscope we have to remember it is a simple microscope okay don't uh, do again the derivation okay it is the object to lens 